We all know we have a history with the Pisces. I love all the Pisces that is out there. Trust me on that. And I feel for them because they get into a relationship and they don't get treated right. So I made the Pisces. It's Garnet. And you know what Garnet does? All those negativity around them, it puts it inside the crystal and it burns it. What's good with Garnet too, what you think will manifest in an instant. This is available right now on our site. I was just checking <laughs> if I'm all set. Okay. I want you guys to have it all. But you feel you've lost it all. Okay. I come here with a vibe and it's always a challenge. You feel right now it's like everything has you lost. But we never lose what we never have. We only have ourselves. So we will always have what we need. We never lose anything. Everything is just borrowed. We have this saying in Filipino, Hiram na saglit. Hiram na saglit. <laughs> no, it's only borrowed moments. Everything is just borrowed. Because this is what you feel. We will never lose anything in our life that is not really ours. It's not about like what's meant for me is meant for me. It's not like that. That's different. This is more of like our perception that we hold things. So, but, but there's this part of you that's like, no, Sal, I really, I don't know, relationship, money, something that you were attached to. That's the only reason why you feel you lost it. It's because there's attachment to it. Without the attachment, there's nothing that you've lost. Mm. Okay, let's see. Meh, yeah. Pisceans been going through it. Okay, let me see here. Okay, haven't been 24 hours since the last reading that I've done. Okay, so make sure to check it out. Today's subject is also for our crystal talk together with your um, astrology is for you guys. Oh, yes. Getting rid of debts. Okay. Money issues and work issues is something that we're going to be using, uh, talking about also because Ruby, okay, is the one that has helped me and that can help you because uh, the sun rules your sixth house. So we will talk about it. Okay. This is my own Ruby, but it is in the lucky seven now. Okay. And of course, the garnet that manifests the things that you think of. So just be careful. This is free. I'll talk more in a little bit. Now, having the hermit card, this is your seventh house, right? Um, it's hard because your seventh house is a purist, which is a Virgo. So in a relationship, you're a Virgo. You're not a Pisces. You're not about like, oh, dreamy, dreamy. No, you're very much, you can be uh, like uh, a very well um, civil person. I do this, you do that. Not like a Libra way. Um, but because it's a Virgo, it's more of like organized. It's it's it is what it is. It's an earth sign. It's a purist. It's a virgin, and that's why you probably feel like you know you get taken advantage of these people because you're coming in vulnerable. Okay, um, this also shows that you are consistently con uh, consistent with relationship. Once you're committed, you work on it. That's you. But the energy of the relationship is mercurial also because Mercury rules the seventh house. And Mercurial does not commit. They don't. Well, they can commit, but they just don't know how to nurture a relationship. And often at times, you'll find people like that. That's how you will connect. Ah, Ten of Cups. Oh, so it's like, oh, Ten of Cups. I yeah, Three of Swords. Remember. Oh, okay, sorry about that. I'm just going to silence this. Uh, remember that we are in the full effect of the solar eclipse and the lunar eclipse. So the next four or five months, that's why... Remember, I gave you guys the um, solar eclipse uh, um, protection bracelet here. Um, the Ten of Cups with the Three of Swords, it feels like you are in the middle of trying and your person has been just um, very much like taking advantage and just being brutal about this. It's like you don't feel that they care. You don't feel like they do understand what you're going through. For others who's going through something difficult, they're really just, um, let's just say uncooperative the three of swords i don't sense cheating yet so let's not go there but with k2 in your seventh house this is a separatist okay it does not allow you to have a relationship that is meant to last forever during this time only but you know don't, don't be like oh my god no it's not like that not not like that it's more about like go within okay nine of cups with the three of swords this is a time for you that's why Okay, because we can't be always, you know, we, we, if we are always with other people, we never really work on ourselves. Okay, and life is about, really about our own karma and ourselves. Yes, as much as we would like to share it with others, the work is within. 
Nine of Cups, Three of Swords, your person is self gratitious. But look at that. Wheel of Fortune. Things are about to turn around. Now, how is it going to turn around? This is what you're going to ask me. By coming May, when Jupiter goes to the third, it's going to aspect the fifth. And that's a strong aspect of Jupiter, which means it's going to bless you. Okay? You as the one who holds his chart, you as the one who's looking for a relationship. This is the obstacle, right? And this can be, this is like this is uh, Rahu in the first. That's why I give you the garnet, which can work with this confusing time, which can work. Ooh, okay. Sorry about that. Okay, because I got people. Okay, because the lucky seven. I need to know. Uh, okay, so if you, you hear the bell, okay, it already lowered the bell, because I made twelve, and every time, so I know that I, you know, um, I cannot. I don't want to over. Uh, how do you call this? Overcommit. You know, so now I got, let me see. Okay, oh yeah, the, oh, two. Okay. So, because I made 12, but, uh, but you know, I, I'm going to talk more about it. Okay. Because, you know, this is, this is like a very, you know, I make this myself. Nine of Cups right here. Okay. With the Wheel of Fortune. I'm seeing um, where you do want things to progress. Nine of Cups with the Wheel of Fortune. You do feel that this should be my time. It is your time. Venus is exalted in the first house, but Mercury in the first, in the retrograde, it's, uh, it's actually your person, I feel, would come through and come back. Yes, yes. Nine of Cups with the Wheel of Fortune. This is someone who's going to come back towards you. Okay? Um, let's discuss first the Ruby before I continue to read. The Ruby is going to be good for your financial, financial issue and work-related issue. Also for health. I'm not a doctor. It's not a health advice. Um, but the sixth house is ruled by the sun and Ruby, okay, is with the sun, meaning this is the, this is the gemstone for, um, for your sixth house. So this is something that can help you. But this is expensive, so I made I made a specific bracelet that you can get it all. Okay, everything in one. Uh, this is called the lucky seven, and of course with the continuously confusing things that is happening in your life, be careful for what you think. What you think will manifest. This is garnet. So if you're not if you're not if you're having issues right now with Rahu in the first, this is gonna be good for you. It's gonna heighten it. So I need you to be more aware because it's very strong. Um, for things to happen fast, it will happen fast. But think only good. That's a thing. Okay? So you can only use it when you're in a good place. If not, all your worries and fears will come true. So don't do, don't use it. But this is free. Okay? Um, that's how strong Garnet is. Um, I use it myself. Remember that. Okay? This is your yellow sapphire. I swear. Okay. <laughs> Goodbye. Okay. Yellow sapphire. Once Jupiter goes to your third house, it is not in the best place in the third but in the third, it will look into the fifth, which me at uh, the fifth from it. But it's gonna be good for your relationship. Okay, this is free. We do ship uh, to more than eighty countries across the globe. This is free shipping in the U.S. Okay, carry this. Ooh, another one. Okay, sorry, DJ Khalid, another one. Okay. By, by that time I upload this video, there's nothing gonna be left for the Pisces. Okay. 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 So, okay, coming back to your read, Wheel of Fortune right here. No, because I made 12, okay? But as I continue to upload, I think, I don't know how much they upload already. Okay, it gets deducted. Okay. Four of Swords right here, and the Ten of Pentacles, yep. You've been thinking about this relationship, you've been thinking about money, um, you're thinking about Four of Swords with the Ten of Pentacles, addressing certain issues in life, it's going to be resolved. Ten of Cups with the Ten of Pentacles, again, it's just a moment. Can you hang on there, hang in there? Okay, we all have ups and downs in our life. This down will come up. That's the whole uh, um, the, with the Wheel of Fortune. What is up will level off. What is down will come up. So you're waiting for your life to shift. You're waiting for your life to get better. It will, Pisces. I've seen it. Cards will never lie. But it's like maybe 10 more days. Can you? Can you? Okay. But with the help of the yellow sapphire and your garnet, of course, it's going to be amazing. 
Okay? I gotta go to the mail because these people be bothering me. Not that they bother me. Okay? Because they're gonna ship it. Okay? Meaning, the post office is gonna be crazy in the weekend. I'll tag this in a choir of this video. I'll see you tomorrow though.